So spine pels rails for rotation. Uh, I'm looking to get better rotation to the right. So I'm turning to the right. There's my, let's just say this is my limitation. I want to get as much of this hip and knee and ankle into the wall as possible. So as I start to rotate, if my hip is moving away, that lets me know I don't want to start from here. I need to go exactly where my end range is. So let's just say this is my end range. I can go elbow bent or elbow locked out. What is going to give you the most leverage and control? This hand is also on the wall. So this arm is the driving factor for Pell's contraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive through my right arm going into the wall for my Pell's contraction. Then for my rails, I'm going to use this hand to push and try to come away from the wall, allowing for that rotation. But the hips can't come away from the wall. So if I get that rotation, now what I have to do is if you do have that good rotation, you gotta start taking the spacing out. So now I'm gonna angle my hip into the wall, but move my knee and foot away from the wall to take out that spacing. And I'm gonna rinse and repeat, pels and rails. I can also make this more challenging by bending the elbow, pels and rails, squeezing out that last little bit of spinal rotation. Pels, rails. And that's pels, rails for spine rotations.